Hey everybody, Hi. we're here live. I'm here with Happy Ivy. Monday. Yeah, okay. Motivation Monday. Yay. Awesome <laughs> idea. <laughs> Thank you. So we are actually getting started like a minute early. So I'll Why just kind of start introducing you to people and hopefully they'll be tuning in soon. Okay. Oh, awesome. we got one oh, person. Yay. Yay. <laughs> So, um, so I'm sitting here with Eileen. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Leslie. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And, um, I'm going to let Eileen tell us a little bit about her. She's, she's a, um, life coach, life coach. Exactly. And how she got into it and kind of a little mm -hmm. bit about herself. Sure. Her sure. So hi everyone. I'm Eileen Carlucci, redesign your life coach. And a few years back, I had a lot of transitions happen in my life. A lot of things happen. And um, I really, at that point, really started to redesign my life. I started to take like every area of my life and just start to create and design newly. And it really gave me the idea of starting a business. First, I had started doing events. I started doing um, empowering events for women. And really just, it gave me the confidence to go out and start my business, which is Redesign Your Life Coach. And I'm very happy to be here today. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah, thanks for being she here. She was telling me about she's starting a Motivational Monday, and I'm honored to be a guest here. Yeah. And I also want to acknowledge everything you do for the community. You are out there and showcasing businesses and business owners, and I really appreciate that because I watch the page all the time your videos are amazing oh, so thank we you thank so you so much thank yeah. you so much it's been a lot of fun and you know kind of like you said i mean it's just been really fun to get to meet so many people out in the community yes. and see what they're what causes that they're supporting and all that type of thing so yes, and i love that because i'm in the community and i love seeing what's out there and yeah a lot of times you just you just don't know like don't, i might know yes. something you don't know and exactly. you might know something i don't we think we know everything we don't right like, you gotta get in here yes I'm yes like we're not just... scooted we're like scooting Hi, around I'm the Michelle. table <laughs> how are you Hi, Michelle. This thanks for exciting. tuning in what a way to start a monday right. what a way yeah, i know so. and that was like yeah. one big thing i'm like you know everybody's always um, you know, like, oh, Sunday's over. I've got to start work on Monday. Mm -hmm. And it's just so hard to get back in the swing of things sometimes. And mm -hmm. it's all about, again, about perspective. Um, and if you love what you're doing, like, sometimes I go to bed on Sunday and think, I can't wait until tomorrow. Like, Me I'm too. Like, I Me weird. Too. I'm yes, I love what people. I do, too. And Monday, I'm like, <laughs> but we're, we're here to motivate on Monday. So anyone's in that frame of mind today, we're going to get out of that mindset. Yes. It's, oh, it's Monday. <laughs> So I'm going to open up with asking Eileen just okay. some kind of, maybe not so, um, nor, I wouldn't say normal, but right, um, right. conventional questions sure. just to kind of break the ice and get okay. people to really know like okay. the real you. Okay. Um, okay. so what would, and these are just goofy questions. Sure. sure. Um, so what would you prefer a movie or a play? A time. play in New York City, of course. Yes. But yes. I'll say any play. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was in showbiz as growing up as a child in my early 20s. So, yeah. That's awesome. Definitely a play. Yeah. I love plays. I mean, mm -hmm. I think they're just, I mean, it's more of a an event as opposed to just like, eh, I'm going to exactly. go to the Exactly. It's an movie. event. <laughs> yes. It's an occasion that you don't forget. You remember. Get into, it's going to get into uh, something that we were just mm -hmm. talking about. And it's, it's just kind of funny that it was a question. But okay. Were you the same or different in high school? The same as I am now? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I'm definitely, I'm the same person, but I've done a lot of training and development. So, um, well, I, I'm going to segue into self-limiting beliefs. I had some of those about myself in high school, which right. I really who did. Who didn't? Right. And I, they are they are present and they show up. But I know how to clear it out and create newly and be just kind of clear all that out. So, yeah. But yeah, kind of the same, but kind of different. You know, a little bit of, you know. A lot more self confidence. Exactly. <laughs> just decades of in the making, right? Of, right. Of life experience, too. So. Yeah, I would say that's a huge difference yes. for me as well, just like having more self confidence. Yeah, yeah I think exactly. that. Everybody How goes do you feel? That. Do you feel you're the same person from high school or? Yeah, in a way, it's almost like the, <clears throat> the person that you're. Not afraid to be, but like mm -hmm. what you really were gets to come out because exactly. you don't have to be afraid of what 
kids mm-hmm. think of you and all that. But exactly. of course, you still have that. I yeah, mean, it's, we even still as do. An adult, we you still walk do. into an, a networking event, and you don't know anyone, and exactly. like some people are exactly in clicks or whatever. Right, and you right. Feel like all those same feelings coming back. So exactly, <laughs> self limiting beliefs, which yes. we, we know how to get rid of, and um, I will talk a little bit about that. But um, yeah, I'm yeah. excited to hear that. Okay. Um, so this is one's fun just to okay. learn about your, like you're kind of reminiscing, but what would be like your favorite cartoon or favorite cartoon character as a child? Um, as a child, who that's a tough one. Oh, I don't even, I'm trying to remember way back when <laughs> I used to like Felix the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Um, a little more serious one. Okay. What's what would be one like an influential book that really influenced you? I mean, I love I really love Tony Robbins. I so I am yeah. a person that reads books continually. I'm I read a lot of self improvement. I yeah. have like stacks. Um, I just read a, a a really great book called Beautiful Money, and it's really about mindset about oh, moving. You know, clearing up there all the things in your life that aren't working. And it sounds like it's a money book, but it's really not the clutter and everything that's holding you back to live your best life. It's amazing. So if you ever, if anyone wants to read it out there, I really enjoyed that. Oh, that yes. sounds good. Yeah. 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 Um, and then <clears throat> where would you like to retire? Getting to the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> One of my favorite places, but it's very expensive, is Dana Point, California. I lived in California years ago. And whenever I go back there, I'm just like in heaven. It's just beautiful. It's the harbor uh, right on the Pacific Ocean. It's my favorite place. I would love to retire there. Oh, that beautiful would be weather. Great. Be awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. What, what what it's all about. Yep. Getting to the nice weather yes. at the end. Exactly. <laughs> the nice weather. You have to <laughs> deal with that when you're in your 70s shoveling snow. No. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you let's? Sure. So why don't we? I got my five questions. Mm-hmm. Um, so why don't we kind of get into what you were wanting to talk about today? Sure. For our sure. motivation Monday. Okay, so I'm going to talk about today four steps to overcoming self limiting beliefs about yourself. I do have a little cheat sheet, so sorry. Oh, of course. Um, so the first step, if you want to get a pen and write these down, I live by these, and I'm telling you, it made a significant difference in my life. The first one is recognizing the falsehood and seeking the source. So at some point, you made up a story about yourself. And you, you're holding that self-limiting belief about yourself or those beliefs, and it's holding you hostage. And you don't realize it. Like, think back, though, seeking the source of maybe years ago when you were in school. Like, I'll give you my example. I remember the teacher calling on me. I raised my hand. It was the wrong answer, and she made some, a comment, and everybody laughed. And I kind of made myself stupid. Like, <gasps> And this really has <clears throat> showed up in my life for decades Um, but after years in training and development, I know it's just a story I made up. It's not the truth. I am very smart woman. I have a lot of great qualities and it's, it's just a self-limiting belief and it's not serving me at all. And it's not serving you. So then it's crazy how like that one little thing can, yes, can affect us for our whole lives. And like that, it's like that one one time you raised your hand and you just probably thought, well, I'm never doing that again. Never doing that again. (laughs) That team that you didn't get picked for, I'm not good enough. And we, and it just hold us hostage. It's it's terrible. So what we're going to do is the second step is clear it out. Like just clear. And I know it sounds easier said than done, but what helps me is, and write this down, clear out the, the the disempowering words like I can't, I don't, I'm not, I mustn't, others are. You know, we think others can do it. Yeah. I had that story a lot that they can do it and then I become this little seven-year-old. No, like just clear it out and that vocabulary is not part of your vocabulary anymore. Okay, done deal. Yeah, right? that's good. The third is replace. So you're going to replace it with powerful words like I'm confident, I'm powerful, I'm fully self-expressed. I'm amazing. I'm <clears throat> productive. I'm proactive. So think of three words if you want to write three amazing words to start off your Monday, your your day of a powerful Monday and a powerful week. Think of three words. And I'm yeah. going to share my words with you. So listen, Leslie, these are okay. my words. I am confident, motivated, and committed. Those okay. are good ones. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have three words you want to share? Um, if not, you can think about it. I don't necessarily it. have three, but I do have like a, 
Um, for me, <clears throat> going back to a mm-hmm. influential book was Born Rich by Bob, Bob Proctor. Oh, wow. And um, I'll read that one. Yeah, it's really good. And he has a, it's a, like affirmations like mm-hmm. that. But I have yes. more, way more than three. <clears throat> yes. And um, yeah, what he has you do is he mm-hmm. has you make the list and then you record yourself saying them. Oh, I love that. Does everyone hear that? <laughs> and I listen to them in my car every day. That is awesome. Every morning, that I listen awesome. to myself. Because then you hear your own voice. Your own voice. I love that. Is powerful. I yeah. love that tip. I love that tip. Yeah. So that's so that's what you what can do, do is like she's saying it's an <laughs> affirmation. I call it an intention. Like I set my intention for the day and week. Affirmation, whatever feels comfortable to you. This was the intention that I set for my day and the week. So listen to this compared to I am, I'm not. Waking up on a Monday saying, oh, I hate it's Monday. I'm rushing. You know, I got to get on calls. Like, this is how I'm starting my week off instead. I am a confident, motivated, and committed life coach making an enormous contribution by impacting the lives of people worldwide. So I'm playing it. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. And I'm committed to that because... do are we are we all, we make ourselves small in life like we are all we have so much to contribute and if we make ourselves small like we are not giving our gifts to the world so that's the in- intention i set for myself and hopefully you will sit down and set your intention have a powerful week and make things happen and have just be happy and love people and love life i mean life is not a dress rehearsal this right. is it this is all <laughs> right. we got so all today is you better make it great <clears throat> You don't know what tomorrow brings. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah. And then some of the, well, another thing that I'll do is I'll kind of do <clears throat> something where I make sure each day I'm pushing myself myself towards where I want to be. So, yeah. you know, it, it, it's kind of like the whole working on the business instead of in the business. In the business. So making I'm sure that, that I do one thing to kind of like push mm-hmm. my business ahead. I can't tell you how impressed I am. I mean, you started your real estate business as a young woman and now you have your own company and brokers under you. I mean, you're, well, thank you're you so um, much. You're and amazing. Again, I don't you're feel that agent, way. But I don't feel that way. And it's she crazy. amazing. Everyone. I mean, <laughs> oh, she started you. going Gainesville. It's not easy to do a Facebook live and you just go out there in the community and do it. It's gotten much better. And you are <laughs> now. Well, yes, I mean, I've, I, still I've, get I haven't done a ton of Facebook lives myself and it is a little nerve wracking, but every time you do it, it gets a little easier, a little better. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not so bad, right? Just like we're right. talking to friends. It's tough you make it. You're just talking to your your friends. We're all just people, right? None of us are perfect. Exactly. So. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, um, you know, when you were saying about, um, you know, we're, we feel like so small, but we can have a way bigger impact. And we do. Exactly. And we don't even exactly. realize it. We don't even realize the impact. Like, look at you. You're impacting the community by... Letting people know what's out there, which, you know, the services that make their life better. Right, right. right. And it's fun to, it's fun to, sometimes I, and I find a lot of places I didn't even know of along the way that I'm sharing. So that's yes. Been, been yes. fun too. Yes, and thanks for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and hopefully, you know, this will help between our sharing today, like just make this an impactful, amazing week. Why not? You know? Yes. Like, Shine your bright light in the world, everyone, today. Well, I want to, yeah. um, did you have more on your notes? No, okay, that was good. it. I had the yeah. four tips and, like, whatever else you want to talk per- about. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, and I've just been thinking, you know, I've, I really wanted to have this segment personally, too, mm-hmm. because, <clears throat> again, this is, like, something that I'm, like, super into is mm-hmm. just the whole, like, being positive and, mm-hmm. you know, and I've just learned so much. So I'm excited to keep sharing little tips each week and, yes. um, you know, keep everybody moving forward with their lives. It's awesome. And um, yeah, what a way to start the week. So. And why don't you give a shout out for your business? Um, sure, tell me, sure. like, what you'd be looking for in a client and what exactly Definitely. you do. Do they meet with you every week or how does that work? Yes, yes. So, you know, I, I started my business out of a midlife divorce when my kids left the nest and I lost my dog and I was just in a really not happy place. I was very confused of what do I do next? And um, I really, you know, I have a true passion to help anyone that's been through the divorce process because life can be amazing after divorce. Sometimes I think we feel like it's a lot of loss, but with the right support, I'm telling you, you can have an amazing life. Um, 
and do I, things you probably never, never would have done. done. Right. Yeah. There's, a, there's, you know, and then you're sometimes not in a great situation and you're happier. You know? Yeah. So you don't think you would be. Exactly. But you are. Um, or, you know, midlife transition. A lot of women that are empty nesters. I went through a very sad, you know, my kids left for college and, or, you know, sometimes you're in the midlife, you're maybe disconnected to your partner or, um, you're just really trying to find or your way. Switching careers or you're something. You want to maybe switch careers? Yes, exactly. Maybe you're like, oh, you I want don't to start that business. This. Exactly. For, I don't want to do the same daily grind. Exactly. Every, every day. Exactly. So mm-hmm. midlife transitions. Are, you know, anyone tripods. going through? I think the Ball. tripod's a little <laughs> crooked. But um, anyway, so if I, I can help you in any it. way, I do offer a thirty-minute uh, discovery call to see what we can discover and what. You want to create for yourself and your life. I also have a really great uh, Facebook page. It's called Create a Life You Love, a Life Designed by You. And it's all about, like, what do you want to create for your life? Do you want to start that business? Do you want to write that book? Do you want to travel more? Like, what's stopping you? And let's create a plan. And, like, you know, I have tips and tools. We have experts that come on the page. And all the, the people in the group, women, men, all are here to support each other. So well, that's it's a wonderful. Really great page. That's a wonderful cause. Thank I'm glad you. that you Thank got you. into this because I think that you're very talented and this is your gift. I appreciate it. Thank you, <laughs> Leslie. She's All amazing. Right. Well, thanks everybody for tuning into this Motivation thank Monday. And thank you. Thank you, Leslie. You're oh. awesome. Keep doing what you're doing and uh, you spreading too. spreading good stuff on a Monday. All right. See you guys Bye. later. Thanks for see tuning everybody. in. See <laughs> everybody.